balanced view in three words. Ease of being. For me, <clears throat> for me, when I was introduced to, to balanced view, it was really recognizing this innate ease of being. And I, I really, um, I was so drawn to that, something I had been searching for, this, this ease, this, um, this okayness, okay to be myself without needing to change myself, fix myself, delete some parts, accumulate other parts in some way. All the, all the ideas we have about ourselves of what a, a perfect human is and um, what we need to do to be of benefit. And of course, it's everybody's wish to be of benefit. It's, it's completely innate, it's built in. And this training is just such a, um, a very direct, powerful, yet gentle way of introducing ourselves to ourselves. Really getting to know our true nature as open intelligence. And to be um, introduced very directly. We can simply stop thinking for a moment just for a brief moment, stop the train of thought. And what remains is this ease, this complete ease of being, this openness. There's something about us that is so vast, alert, cognizant, ready to be of benefit. That power to know, that perfect knowing, that you can, you can feel your seat, you can hear my voice, you can hear the, the African music. <laughs> I think it's African. <laughs> that power to know is open intelligence. Your true nature, your true essence, your true power to be of benefit to yourself and others. And then naturally the thoughts and the sensations and the emotions, they all come back, one, only one um, at a time, even though we think there's a whole barrage of all this going on. It's only one at a time. And we, we call these thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences data, just to keep it really simple. So whether we're thinking or not thinking, open intelligence is always on. That power to know, that which is beaming through your eyes, that which is looking, hearing, sensing, always on. And, and the data that arise spontaneously ceaselessly and countlessly. They are simply this dynamic energy of open intelligence, completely inseparable from open intelligence. They're completely inseparable. Data and open intelligence, inseparable, like the color blue in sky. And wow, it's blue sky in Bristol. <laughs> and you can look at the sky and wow, you can see you can't separate the blue from sky. Without one, you could not recognize the other. Completely inseparable. Or like the sun and its rays. And so the more we get to, to know that about ourselves through the support of the four mainstays which we offer in Balanced View. So to take short moments, which is to rest body and mind and not describe what is coming up. Just for a brief moment, stop the describing. And, and recognize this energy, this beneficial energy. See in the very moment how we can really be of benefit to ourselves and others without needing to indulge in the data that's coming up or avoid it or replace it. 
that just takes so much energy trying to fix or change something that cannot be changed. We just allow it to be as it is. All thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences. And we see that they naturally resolve, like a line drawn in water, or like the flight path of a bird in the sky. All data, they leave no trace. And the short moments just bring you back to that ease of being, allowing yourself to be exactly as you are, and allowing every datum that appears to be as it is. And then listening to the talks online, there's thousands of hours from um, different trainers around the world and Candace, the founder of Balanced View, and just listening to those and listening to everybody's experience allowing that instinctive recognition to open up. Just open up and, and settle into that knowing who you really are. Your true identity is, is open intelligence. Completely open-hearted open intelligence. All embracing. And then the, the, there's trainings, written texts and coming to open meetings and clarity calls. And um, it's just such a beautiful way to, to be reminded again and again of our natural perfection, of our true nature, seeing it in everyone. If, if we're open intelligence, then so is everybody else. Pure, blazing brightness, open intelligence. And the community. We meet the community here in Bristol and then the global community online or wherever we, we, we travel to. And we just see that everybody is just so committed into um, living a lifestyle of, of open intelligence and what is of most benefit. L living as open intelligence for the benefit of all. So it's not recognizing open intelligence for the benefit of me only, and it may seem so in, in the beginning, which is completely fine, but it naturally, the more you recognize uh, your beneficial potency, your complete ease of being and, and well-being in every moment, the more others feel at ease around you. There's this open-hearted relating, respectful relating, complete appreciation and gratitude that just naturally flows. And we, we really allow ourselves to, to be ourselves. And I, I find that extremely precious and, and beautiful that I can finally be me. Finally. Without needing to change anything. I mean, who feels awkward? Me. Oh. <laughs> no. And I used to run away from that feeling feeling awkward, anxious, nervous, uncomfortable in my own skin. Oh, gosh, you're so weird. You always say the weirdest, strangest things. <laughs> <laughs> and I do. I still do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and so what? <laughs> Everybody knows. I mean, all my friends back home, they say, ah, oh, that's an Aussieism. That's a funny thing you said there. <laughs> and, um, and I'm so fine with that. It, whatever comes, comes. And just to recognize again that, that ease of being and that I can allow myself to be exactly as I am is such a gift. And also to see if, if I'm feeling this awkwardness or rejection or wanting to fit in, who else is feeling that? If it's only the dynamic energy of open intelligence, then we all, we feel everything, everybody, no one excluded. And then it just, it, there's just this humility and openness and, and, and connection with every being. Wow, yeah, I'm feeling totally awkward. Who else in the room is feeling awkward? So fine. <laughs> it's just this wish to be of benefit. We don't need to label things as 
wrong or that we're flawed and, oh, we've done that just so much in our lives, beating ourselves up, oh, stop. <laughs> stop. Be gentle on yourselves and just start to open up to your, your complete power, no matter what is coming up. Feeling lonely? Wow. Total connection with every single person that feels lonely. There's such a, a, a warm-heartedness and an intimacy, getting to know ourselves completely, getting to know every single datum, that nothing is, that, uh, is wrong or imperfect. Everything that arises is naturally perfect, just as it is. Everything we see in nature is naturally perfect. Everything in us, as us, is naturally perfect. No need to categorize and negative, positive, neutral. Allow the whole flow, the flow of benefit to be as it is. And then you really, you really open up to this complete humanness with such a, a light-heartedness, yet powerful completely potent. Through your own direct experience, you know exactly how to support others by allowing yourself to be exactly as you are. And I know what to do. I can rest. I can listen to a download. I can um, ask trainer for advice, or if you've got your personal trainer. It's one of the mainstays. Write your trainer. Or just be with community. And you just see the data, they naturally resolve. Nothing to hold on to. When we find ourselves indulging, we just feel awkward. We know. <laughs> and then we can relax. When we react, fine, there you relax. After you've reacted with all the self-blame and shame and, oh, I shouldn't have said that. There you relax and allow yourself to be exactly as you are. And the more you take on the support, the more short moments they just show up. And you start to see little by little that you react less immediate. <laughs> you really have that opportunity to rest deeply in your power of great benefit and see what is of most benefit in every time, place and circumstance as we heard in the talk, the result being for the benefit of all. Now that's incredible. That's really incredible. Just recognizing um, we are such you know, beneficial beings and that's why we're here, to share our strengths, gifts and talents to share our passions and creativity and innovate and, and, and collaborate and see how we can, it doesn't matter where we're from, what our languages or culture or preferences, we come together as one body of benefit. And, and that's why for me this is a complete honor and privilege to share about this training, to share my own experience. Um, just the magic that's unfolded in the last eight years. And, and I just want that for every being. <coughs> you know, I just want to be the change that I want to see unfold <coughs> in the world. And it's up to each person. It's up to all of us to recognize our innate ease of being. Complete peaceful nature, peace zones. for the benefit of all.